Well, welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. I'm up in the Okanagan Highlands today and I've been thinking that I would do a video on something that's a little different. Uh, this is a video and I think I'll entitle it The Best Bushcraft Cup Ever Made. Now if you haven't seen it, you might want to go look at my video on the best bushcraft knife ever made, but this kind of follows the same basic idea. First of all, you can see here on the hood of my Jeep that I've got a number of different um, camp cups, bushcraft cups. And probably the one that's the most famous is this one here. This is actually one that has Sierra Club in it. And this is oftentimes called a Sierra Cup. And what's interesting about this particular cup is that it's been popular for a long time and it's been made in a lot of different ways. The most common one is like this, it's just stainless steel. And it's great. It's got a special kind of a, a material here so it doesn't burn your lip and it works really good. These that you see on my Jeep, most of them are 25, 30 years old. But before they started making them in stainless steel, they made them in aluminum. See, that's a little bit different sound and you can you can see that's aluminum. Just a little bit different. And then the one that's always kind of now these, this is pretty much like the stainless steel one that I just showed you, but the one that catches my eye is this one here. This is an old one that was made in brass. And it shines, but I gotta tell you the truth. I paid a dollar for that. You get on the internet now, and what's interesting I find is that most of these cups are going for $15, $20 a piece. Now here I've got two cups. Here's a, a, a brass one that hasn't been polished up and a stainless steel one. These are commemorative, and you'll see a lot of commemorative ones, but this is for REI 50 years. Well, that was 86, and this, this bronze one, or this brass one here is kind of special because my mother bought me that one a long time ago. Now, let's get a little bit more exotic. Some of you out there like your cappuccino, and that's something that you could take bushcrafting, and it'll work really good. What I wanna, and the reason I wanna show you this one is that most of these, not all, but most of them, I got at a second-hand store. That's where I got this one for a buck, okay? And so sometimes you can find a little cup like this that you can use camping, and it's a whole lot of fun. But let's get back to, oh yes, there's one other one. This one's kind of fun. Stainless steel, you get a good look at that, and it collapses. You put it in your pocket and take it with you. The reality is it's kind of fun, might be good for a shot of whiskey, but it's really not that practical, practical for camping. Now, with the great success of the standard Sierra Cup style, they started making uh, cups that were a little bit different. Here's one that's oversized. It's kind of just a big Sierra Cup. And I like that because it's almost the size of a bowl. And if your goal is to have one cup that you're doing everything out of, this might be a good choice. Now, here, here are two cups that I'll show you that are a hybrid. It's a little bit different. You see? It's not quite the same style. Now, this one here, it's called a Cascade Cup, and it's a takeoff on the Sierra Cup. You can see the difference in style. This one here, I carried 500 miles on a long-distance backpack trip, and I can tell you I used it every day. I liked it so much that when I finished that trip, I saw that they had innovated and made the same cascade cup, it's a pint size, with a handle that would collapse like that. Tell you the truth, I don't like the collapsible handle. It's a bit of a nuisance, putting it on and off like that. So I never really used this, but I still have it. And then, of course, there are those who like the old GI cup that goes over the, 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 therm, uh, yeah, the water bottle or the thermos the um yeah the water bottle these are good and you can cook on them and all kinds of things a bit heavy they don't fit very well but you can find those and that's a great cup for you i wanted to bring this one in because this one's kind of special for me i've been using this one since 1982 and part of being a frugal bushcrafter is getting stuff that you can use in the outdoors that uh will last well, that's the nice thing about most of these stainless steel cups. They last, and since this is a special one for me, now I keep my coffee in it. Let's get to 
a couple other examples. These have been popular with people, but of course you can't cook on a fire with them. They have certain limitations, and these have now kind of been relegated to my bathing cup when I'm in the outdoors. I don't use them for too much else. And then finally, here's another cup that you will find. And by the way, I put these, these flag stickers on them. It just kind of dresses up an old tin cup a little bit. But this is a Peak One cup. Sometimes I like this for coffee. It doesn't spill like a Sierra cup, but it doesn't have as much of a utility as um, the standard Sierra cup. Now I'm going to get to something else. For years now, I've been going back and forth to China. And in China, and you can buy them here in this country too, or in fact all over the world, they make a, a cup like this with a lid. Now I've taken the little handle off and put a string on that. And the reason for that is that I can take this cup, fill it up with stuff, put it in my backpack, or put it in a suitcase if I'm going on that kind of a trip, and it keeps things very secure. Now let's get to the question. What's the best backpack um, bushcraft cup ever made? Now again, if the rule is you want just one, I'd have to say, you know, this, this old Sierra cup is hard to beat. Because if you're in a spot and you have to boil water, or if you want to make tea when you're out on the trail, you can do it with all, with all of these. But there is one, and again, this is the oversized, kind of one liter size of that big tin cup that I showed you a minute ago. Again, I put the stickers on just to dress them up. Now, I don't use this one over a flame, but the nice thing about this size cup, you can make your coffee in it in the morning, you can cook your dinner in it at night. In fact, tonight up here in the Okanagan Highlands, I'm gonna make a soup and I'll make it in one of these cups without the stickers. So I, you know, how do I answer the question? What, what do you think? What is the best bushcraft cup ever made? And I guess what I'd want to say is keep it simple. Think about how you're going to use it. Don't go and impulsively buy something that's plastic. And, you know, you can look on the internet. They, they sell them used. You can go to secondhand stores and find them like this for a buck. This is aluminum cu cup. I think I paid about a dollar and a half for that. Or you can buy a new one. They also have titanium. The same Sierra cup in titanium. Let's talk about that for a minute. It's a waste of money. If you can't carry one of these in stainless steel, you need to do some more exercise. Now, I've been a backpacker. I know what it's like to cut the handles off your toothbrush to save weight. But the fact of the matter, the utility of something like this is just great and it's worth the wait. So I guess I would have to say, for me personally, it kind of goes like this. If I were only going to take one cup with me on a long trip, it'd be this one. Because not only would it be the cup, it'd be my pot too. I'd use it for everything. But if I had a little bit more, more I could have a pot and a cup, I'd take this one. This is the Cascade Cup. Why? Because it's big and you can really eat out of it and do a lot of things with it, make your coffee. But for day-to-day -day use on the trail, this Sierra Cup is hard to beat. And what you'll see is you see a lot of people that will put them in there under their belt and just carry them like this on their belt. It really does work well. So I hope this has been interesting to you. It's beautiful up here in the Okanagan Highlands right now, and I appreciate you visiting the Okanagan Forest Channel. I'd like you to think about the cup you use as a bushcraft cup, and I'd love to hear if you've got a cup that might be better than one of the ones that I have here. Thanks so much for listening. Sorry about the wind, but we're out in the forest. So enjoy the day. Thank you for listening. Give me a shout if you'd like, and be safe.